Each creature in Dungeons & Dragons has six abilities that determine its base attributes. Three of these abilities are physical, strength, dexterity, and constitution, while the other three are mental, intelligence, wisdom, and charisma. In this video, we're going to focus on strength and we'll look at example creatures of every strength score, from weakest to strongest, which will give us a kind of gauge as to what the different strength ratings actually look like when incorporated into creatures. To keep things streamlined, I'm going to be referencing creatures from the main bestiaries of 5e D&D. Before we get into this heavy lifting, please take a moment to hit the thumbs up and to subscribe. Your support lets me know that I should keep creating this kind of content regularly, and it gives a real boost to my motivation. A creature's strength determines its ability to perform tasks requiring muscular power or brute force. Things like attacking with melee weapons, battle axes, great swords, or even throwing weapons like hand axes or javelins. Strength plays into things like lifting heavy objects, breaking free from restraints, jumping, swimming, climbing, busting down doors. It also determines carrying capacity, though many people do play it somewhat loose when it comes to carrying items. So let's begin with the weakest of the weak, the creatures with a strength score of 1, which gives a horrendous negative 5 strength modifier. Frog, seahorse, or pretty much any other teeny tiny little critter that would fit into the palm of your hand. Also, a negative 5 strength pertains to many incorporeal creatures, like Spectre, Banshee, Will-O-Wisp, and Shadow Demon. The idea here is that they have no physical body, thus no muscular power. Curiously, ghosts actually have a strength score of 7, which seems odd to me and I'm not quite sure yet as to why that is. Another creature with a negative 5 strength modifier is the Shrieker, which is a person-sized mushroom that cannot move at all. Oh, and let's not forget another negative 5 strength creature, the Demi Lich, which is a floating skull of a lich, and, by the way, is the most powerful tiny-sized creature in 5th edition, at CR 18. The second highest tiny-sized creature in 5e is the Flame Skull, at CR 4, which also happens to be a magical flying undead skull. Next are creatures with a strength score of 2 or 3, which is a negative 4 modifier, so not the absolute worst, but still atrociously low. Bat, cat, crab, fish, lizard, owl, raven, so still these very little animals, but bigger than like a cricket or a mouse. Also, tiny little fey creatures like pixies or sprites are in here. The gazer, which is the weakest of the beholder kin, and the fairy dragon, which is the smallest of the dragon kin. In fact, the highest CR for any creature at the strength score is 2 for a couple of the fairy dragons, and the lowest is CR 0, with lots of creatures, including awakened shrub, cat, and weasel. Then, at strength of 4 or 5, comes the modifier negative 3, which is still terrible. This covers animals such as badger, hawk, octopus, and rooster. Methods made of mere steam or dust are here. The Quasite, which is a very lowly form of demon, and the Quickling, which is another tiny-sized fey and is actually the fastest runner in 5e. The highest CR is Challenge 1, and that's for the Quasite and the Quickling. The lowest CR is still 0, for things like Badger, Hawk, Homunculus, and Octopus. Moving up a tick are creatures with a strength of 6 or 7, which is a negative 2 modifier, still very low. Animals, aka beasts, at this strength score include eagle, giant rat, and vulture. Oh, also the velociraptor, which actually is accurate, because unlike what popular media like Jurassic Park likes to depict, velociraptors were actually small, they were only around 2 feet tall. These dinosaurs from Jurassic Park are more like Dinonychuses. The iconic kobold has a negative 2 strength modifier, as they are scrawny 2 or 3 foot tall munchkins. The flump has a negative 2 strength, so does the imp, cockatrice, shadow, and magman. As well, the alip and wraith, which are also incorporeal like the ghost, 
So maybe the more powerful incorporeal undead have some kind of ectoplasm that gives it a strength? Is it a force of their will? I don't know. The highest CR here is 12 for the Eidolon, and the lowest is 0 still for the Eagle and the Vulture. Now we move on to strength score 8 or 9 with a negative 1 modifier. This is still a little bit below the average adult human, but of course is less terrible. Starting off with animals, there is the baboon, jackal, and wild dog. Another staple icon here is the goblin. Also with negative one strength is the mud mephit, succubus, and myconid sprout. In addition, a good representative of this strength rating is the monster manual generic NPC, mage as lots of full casters have underdeveloped strength in favor of higher mental ability scores. The highest CR is 17, it's for the Nagpa, and the lowest is still CR0 for things like Giant Fire Beetle and the Boggle. Then that strength score of 10 or 11 comes the plus zero modifier. It's not bad, it's not good, it's just flat. Creatures here are deer, hyena, and seal. Generic NPCs like commoner, bandit, priest, and scout. The gauth and the beholder have plus zero strength, if you can believe that. Dryads, basic drow, kinku, and merfolk have it. Medusas and mind flayers, which actually surprises me a bit. And the basic skeleton, which doesn't surprise me. The highest CR is an impressive 22 for the Illithilich, the Mind Flayer Lich. The lowest CR is still zero for things like Commoner, Deer, Hyena, and Lemure. Moving up a rank is Strength Score 12 or 13 with a plus one modifier. So this is slightly above average. We're looking at Boar, Giant Badger, which is different from a Wolverine somehow, Giant Owl, Giant Wolf Spider, Goat, Mastiff, and wolf. Aside from beasts, we have the bullywug, ghoul, flying sword, harpy, hobgoblin, and sawagan. These are just a few of the plus one strength monsters. For uh, general NPCs, we can find things such as the swashbuckler and the tribal warrior. And let's not forget, also with plus one strength, we have the classic zombie, the basic zombie. The highest challenge monsters at this strength score is 20 for the Drow Matron Mother, while the lowest are all the way down still at CR0, the Crawling Claw, and the Goat. Now onto strength of 14 or 15, which is at a plus 2 modifier, so that's pretty well above average. Animals here are Black Bear, Crocodile, Dimetrodon, Giant Lizard, Panther, and Reef Shark. Generic NPCs are ones like the Bandit Captain, Thug, and Archdruid. Some classic plus two strength monsters are Air Elemental, Gargoyle, Rakshasa, Null, Bugbear, and Lizard Folk, as well as things like the Ettercap, Grick, Carrion Crawler, White, and the Gelatinous Cube. There are also some demons here, like the Maw Demon and the Yaklul. And here's also where we start to encounter true dragons. Some of the medium-sized wormlings are here, like black dragon wormling and brass dragon wormling. The highest CR for plus two strength is 18 for the drow favored consort. The lowest CR is 1 8th for things like dolphin, mule, and pony. At strength score 16 or 17, creatures have a plus three modifier. For player characters, a plus three in your main ability is pretty much the minimum that you want when you start at first level. You could get by at plus two, and uh, if you get a plus four, that's even better, much better. A plus three strength animal is something like an ape, a dire wolf, an elk, or a lion. The cloaker and the azer are here, and so is the odiug. Ought you? I always forget how to pronounce that monster. The Flail Snail, the Invisible Stalker, Vrock Demon, Githyanki Knight, Basilisk, Manticore, even the Orc, the basic Orc Warrior is a plus three strength. Some general NPCs include the Berserker, Knight, Veteran, and War Priest. 
Black Pudding, Mummy, and Vampire Spawn can be found at plus three strength as well. The highest challenge rating of monsters with a plus three strength is CR 16 with the Githzerai Anarch and the Star Spawn Larva Mage. The lowest CR is still at just a 1 8th for the Camel. A strength score of 18 or 19 gives a plus four modifier, which is solidly strong. Animals at this rank include the Brown Bear, Allosaurus, Warhorse, and Killer Whale. The Chul has a plus four strength. Also the Pegasus, Unicorn, Water Elemental, Green Hag, Ogre, Troll, and Chimera. There are fewer generic NPCs now, just the Blackguard and the Gladiator. In addition, here is where we first encounter some true dragons of the young age category. A couple of the highest CR creatures here are Merilith and Phoenix at challenge 16, and the lowest is CR 1 quarter with beasts like Cow and Ox. Now onto strength of 20 or 21 with a plus 5 modifier, which is the natural limit for a player character. Plus 5 strength is really great. Animals at this rating are Arox, Cave Bear, Giant Crocodile, Polar Bear, Stegosaurus, and Rhinoceros. Here is also the Aboleth, Clay Golem, Cadaver Collector, Ice Devil, Etten, Hill Giant, and Umber Hulk. The Champion and the Warlord are the only two general NPCs. The highest CR is 17, it's for the Death Knight. The lowest CR is 2, for a few of those animals like the Arox and the Polar Bear. Next we come to Strength 22 and 23 at a plus 6 modifier. Things are now getting into extraordinary territory. The animals at this mighty level of strength are only behemoth things like elephant, giant shark, giant ape, and triceratops. The stone golem has this strength, as do the genies Dao, Ifriti, and Marid. There are giants such as Cyclops, Frost Giant, and Stone Giant. There are also the Bahir, Treant, and Frog Hemoth. We also come across the first adult stage true dragons at this level. Black, Brass, Copper, Green, and White. The highest CR is 24, it's for the Demon Lord Grazd. The lowest CR is 4, it's the Elephant. Now at strength 24 and 25, the modifier is plus 7, which is incredible. Only two animals are here, the Mammoth and the Tyrannosaurus Rex. There is the Planetar Angel, Iron Golem, Dragon Turtle, Fire Giant, and Rimmer Has. The highest CR is 23 for the Demon Lord Jublex. The lowest CR is 6, it's the Mammoth. This brings us to strength 26 and 27 for a modifier of a titanic plus 8. There are no more animals now. There's the Cloud Giant, Pit Fiend, Baylor, Leviathan, Solar, and some ancient dragons. The highest CR is 26. It's tied between the Demon Lord Orcus and the Archdevil Zariel. And the Cloud Giant has the lowest CR at 9. We are about to push into the final echelons of mythic strength scores, and I want to take just a quick moment to mention my upcoming 5e book, Monstrous Heroes. This new tome of options will feature 17 new monster classes. These are race class combinations like troll, lycanthrope, and dragon. Every creature type will be included. So there's even an aberration, an ooze, a fiend, a celestial, and so forth. Monstrous Heroes gives you the chance to go beyond the normal limitations of a 5e character such as getting into higher strength scores above 20 and even going into the large size category. It all is balanced though and it fits within the framework of 5e, so you can use these options in any campaign. There will also be new feats, spells, and magic items, as well as a section for GMs that provides settings and plots for campaigns with monstrous heroes. Check out the link in the video description below. It will take you to the pre-order page where you can see more details. You can download a free preview PDF and start playing some Monstrous Heroes right away. And of course, you can set up your order for the hardcover or PDF version of the book once it comes out, hopefully later this year. 
You can also subscribe to my free monthly newsletter. I've got a link down there below as well. It's called Scrolls of the Bard. And in that I share updates, anecdotes, and 5e content of all kinds, as well as a monthly encounter map or dungeon map. Here's the previous one I did, it's the Dragon's Lair. It also works well for a cave that has aquatic or amphibious monsters. Now, getting back to this journey up the Mountain of Power, we come to Strength score 28 and 29 at a legendary plus 9 modifier. Unsurprisingly, there are not a lot of monsters at this massive level of strength. Really, it's almost unfathomable how strong something is here. Some examples include the Purple Worm, the Rock, the Astral Dreadnought, and the Storm Giant. The highest CR is 26, which is held by Demogorgon, the so-called Prince of Demons. The lowest CR is 11, the Rock. Finally, we reach the very top, the maximum ability score in 5e, Strength 30, at a plus 10 modifier, which is extremely rare and of ultimate physical power. Here we have the most powerful ancient dragons, the red, the silver, and gold. There is also the Elder Earth Elemental, Zaratan, the Empyrean Titan, the Kraken, and the Tarask. The highest CR here, of course, is the Tarask at Challenge 30, and the lowest CR is still an awesome 22 for Zaratan. From a negative 5 strength to a plus 10, a ton of ground is covered. We're talking about from the strength of a June bug to that of the most powerful ancient dragon. You would think the span would be even greater than just a spectrum of 15 degrees of modifiers. And actually in 3e, ability scores could go higher than 30, such as the uh, eldest gold dragon had a strength of 47, that's a plus 18 modifier. If we venture outside the core 3e bestiaries, I'm sure we could find something that's even higher than that. But that said, one of the strong points of 5e is that the math of the game is under control. It's a stable system, and that's a great thing. Prior editions, unfortunately, always had math problems. If you would like to see this kind of ability rating comparison for other ability scores, please let me know. Leave a comment down below and I'll see what I can do. Until next time, may your personal bests on Deadlift ever increase, and may your adventures be many.